Welcome back to the GSL. I'm trying well, to go with that song that was playing. I'm it's better than see. girls just want to have fun, Tasteless. That was that really caught me off guard there. Well, I tell you what, man. Huck just wants to have a longer game. What we need to have for the next song that Raymond comes on is like, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> You put your right foot in, you take your right foot in, you yeah. put your right hand in, and you shake it all about. Yeah. Yeah. I was, like, trying to turn that into something I have to do with micro. Didn't work. I do things on the fly. Catch put you in the your right side. Stalk, tasteless. <laughs> put your right stalker in. Micro your right stalker out. Micro your left stalker in. And the tank And you force field all, all about. Oh, that was good. Thank you. Thank you. Our map is going to be Antigua Shipyard. So bring your sailor hat. <laughs> Somebody's like, but I only brought my fez. Well, too late, bro. We're going to the shipyard. Terran versus Prodas. MVP, the Game Genie Terran against the Incredible Huck. Here we go. Game is loaded. Let's get this going. Two of our best players here, our best non-Korean against maybe our best Korean. He already beaten ST. Here at the GSL CODES in Seoul, Korea, casted by Tasteless and Artosis, the casting archive. Over here in the upper right, we have our red Terran, the Game Genie Terran, because he always seems to oh, never mind. And MVP. Couldn't quite get that one out in time, Artosis. MVP has got to be feeling confident after slapping Huck down two times in a row. Yeah. E.T. Huck. Very true, Tasteless. Here is Huck. I love you, too. Huck. I love you. I don't think you can hear me. No, probably not. They'll definitely watch the VOD watch later the and notice that you love them. But you then didn't say that you love them. What's wrong with you? I love them, Tasteless. All right, it's better. I do. I, I was do. waiting for the right time, but you just had to put it on me, didn't you? Yeah. Sigh. Well, we have standard by Huck. MVP, will he get a gas? Let's wait and see. If I was MVP, you know what I'd do? What? The exact same thing. This map is so long. But yeah, I think you're right. But it's like actually so unexpected. You know what I would do is the same. Yeah, I would do like you a, know what I'm talking about? a Raven it's, all in or something. It's man. not exactly like it's the best map to do it on. But by game or three, you, you, Huck's got to be thinking, all right, the, exactly what you've just said. This map is too big. You had your fun with me. And he's going to be like, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, by now, Huck has to be tilting. You know, he wants a GSL championship as bad as the next guy, maybe worse. And here's MVP saying, uh-uh. And Huck saying, but you already have two. Could you share? And he's saying, nuh-uh. He's like, I thought we were friends. We put on the ladder. And MVP's going, nuh-uh. And he's like, do you understand what I'm saying? And MVP's like, nuh-uh. It's like, <laughs> well, geez, stop making me laugh, man. This is my sternum injury is killing me. I'm sorry. That's you should have called, fallen man. into that, uh, into your exercise bike. My exercise bike. That was a dumb move. It drove into me. Oh, yeah? You were pedaling it so fast backwards that it, it got off That's the track. What, what happened was I thought, you know, maybe it's a good idea to fall into my exercise bike. Well, that wasn't, was it? No. What was I thinking? I was like, maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it'll be cool. Maybe I'll set a new trend. Well, no, I know. As you're I not a hipster this nerd, time, Tasteless. Sumner just jumped on his exercise bike. Damaged his turn. He, like, belly flopped on it. Totally hurt. Doesn't trust you anymore. What's that like, Tasteless? I went into the handles. Ouch. That's where it hit me. Well, okay, interesting. Looks like MVP's going for a one rax expand into four rax, a completely different build this time. Huck, on the other hand. Oh. Oh. He uh, looks like he's going a three gate pressure into expand. And MVP, he's going to need some bunkers for this, of course. Won't be able to hold it otherwise. And with the constant four rax pumping, this could go very well for MVP. Yeah, certainly could. If, you know, if Huck loses a few too many units and then tries to tech while expanding, MVP will be able to do a lot of damage with his little pressure with the Marines. That's kind of well, what this is designed for. 
The unfortunate fact of the matter is that there's no way that Huck can be aggressive against a Terran who does his build, and the Protoss always gets his expansion up later. So MVP is already up to a good start. You know what Huck says when he loses? What? Ah, shucks. Ah. I was expecting anything but that. You're good today, Artosis. Thank you. I'm good way, every day. What are you talking about? It's good to be back here. Thank you, Moltrap Doan Wolf, for subbing in for us. We love you guys. Yes, we do. We love them very we love us all around here at the TSL. But they're actually in the studio watching, cheering Huck on. So they're never going to know that we said that. We'll have to tell them. We'll have to tell them. We have to know. No, there's seriously, something, guys. There's something I need to oh. tell you guys. Ouch. She was that hurts. It always is a big blow to lose that stalker. Huck right now in the middle of the map at the funniest Zelnaga Watch Tower in StarCraft 2. Why is it so funny? Because it doesn't actually cover any scouting paths from side to side. Oh, no, that's quite true. It's actually fairly unnecessary. Oh, way. and Huck, ah, you got to be careful. No! Losing another Stalker, but he does have some sentries here. He's by no means dead, but losing those two is painful. Actually, these Marines for MVP are now stuck in the middle of the map. Yeah, he's going to go up to the high ground here. Maybe make his stand right there. He should just make one sentry there so he can't go up the ramp. Oh. Huck kind of messing up his force fields, not reading the Terran's army correctly. He's got to be careful, too. He's lost three Stalkers already. And you know what this has done, aside from kill three Stalkers tasteless? It's let him know, oh, okay, this is a three barracks build, a three uh, gateway build. Gateway build, yeah. And also, he knows that this was supposed to be some sort of pressure, and it, he stopped it from happening. Right. Huck is going to go up and, you know, at least poke now, but... Already, the damage has not been done. He's going to have three bunkers up before you know. Oh, oh nice. that was nice right there. Sexy sentries versus Marines, the revenge. <laughs> it's a sequel to Sentries versus Marines, where Marines won at the end of the movie. Um, but yeah, that was actually really, really nice. But still, MVP is going to have enough. In fact, he's playing like a Zerg at the moment, Tasis. He's just now putting down his gases. He is, in fact, going three commands before gas. And that is that is... Pretty sweet, man. MVP is always the player that comes out with stuff like this. In you know fact, what I love? He's going for five bunks. Yeah, five bunkers. We call them bunks now. Bunks, man. Bunks. Like bunk beds. Sick as bunks. You know, instead of two people sleeping in a bunk bed, four Marines in a bunk. Think about yeah. that. That's kinky. Chew on that one, tasteless. That is kinky artosis. <laughs> now, going for the um, quick robotics support bay. That's interesting. They got to walk on each other's backs at night. Get those kinks out. Get those creep tumors out of their shoulders. Well, I don't know. If, I don't think this game is going very well for Huck right now, Artosis. Well, you know, MVP is actually kind of playing with Huck's mind at this point. You know, he's he's got the four barracks going. He's starting to tech up. He's got that factory going. Four gases now, the third command. He's going to be ahead economically probably for the whole game. Huck, on the other hand, as we see, does get scanned. And the robotics bay was not seen with that scan. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Now, because theoretically, he could maybe get a uh, Colossus over there to the front of his opponent's base. Yes. Before the Terran can really do anything, Artosis. And that's going to be a very nice poke, for sure. I mean, without Sea Shanks or Vikings, you can just outrange everything if you get that uh, Chrono Boosted out Thermal Lance. So he's going to be able to poke at least a little bit. Uh, Huck does still have four sentries. Ah, oh, you got to be careful, Huck. He does not want to be losing stalkers at this point. You know, Marines, it's cool to kill them. It's neat. It's like all the fad and the rage. All the kids are doing it. Some kids are like, I've been killing Marines longer than you. They're hipsters. They're hipster nerds. But uh, really, Huck needs every unit he can have. Uh, the, what Huck has that MVP doesn't is tech. Right. So he needs to and keep as many gateway units as possible to cover his tech. And let's also point out, guys, that MVP opted to tech incredibly late. I love how he sinks the depot like that's going to do anything in that blood moment that we just saw. Like, oh, where'd it go? I guess we better leave. Um, anyways, um, MVP elected to get that third command center before really teching. Yeah. So MVP's tech is really behind. Well, he is rushing as quickly as he possibly can up to uh, Vikings. So, ooh! Hidden command center. I can't believe that. He actually hid that command center from the Observer. That's actually insane. That was a mazazazing. A maza wow! <laughs> That's what that was, Artosis. Thank you, Dana, and I mean, tasteless. Wow! 
Um, let me see here. What's going on next? Colossus is coming out. And, uh, yeah. Do not laugh at me, Artosis. <laughs> You're so funny, though, Jesus. I had lost my train of thought. That's fine. <laughs> Two more bunkers. I mean, barracks rather be placed down here. Well, you know, Huck is going to hit a pretty fun timing here, man. And another scan just went down. Now, do you think he waited too long? Because it seems to me as though... Um, I'm not sure that he saw those Colossi. No, he has not seen that yet. Yeah, it's he just, just scanned, like, but it looks like it missed he's, them. He's going to get in there a little bit later, though. Uh, with you know, there, there could now be Vikings out, theoretically, although he's making medevacs. Yeah, he's making medevacs numbers three and four. And when this comes out... Let me count how many force fields Huck has. 16 force fields. So he has 16 force fields, a good number of zealots. An okay number of stalkers did lose a few more than he wanted to. But uh, this it looks like he's going for a four Colossus timing. And, oh, MVP is starting ship weapons. So he's he has some idea of what's going on, at least. And the Colossi, though, are going to do so well. If Huck just zones everything up perfectly with his force fields, if he engages in the right areas. I mean, MVP without any anti-Colossus tech against four Colossus? I mean, against one or two, it's like, all right, spread everything out. Yeah. You might be all right. But here it's like, well, you better have the sickest surface area of life, and Huck better be attacking like a landed barracks or something, because otherwise his Colossi are going to do huge damage, and now he sees them. It's time, Tasteless. Four Colossi, Huck needs to move out. Very similar spies, 158 to 144. He needs to force the Terran to guard the middle of the map when he pushes out here. Because if Terran runs all the way back home, he's going to chop up that army with force fields of Colossus. Mm -hmm. What do we call them? Do we call them rays? Do we call them lasers? Do we call them beams? I don't know. That's a good That's question. A I call them... Yeah. Now, MVP is making a second star for oh. He's queuing up Vikings. He's so scared. Vikings just rubbed your Wow. He's actually going to go for a two-base all in. Yeah. Like. Yep. Well, he is making a third Nexus. But, yeah, it's, at this point, it's getting kind of funny. Uh... Huck really needs to get something done, but MVP is behind him. MVP is behind Huck, Huck realizes, and starts moving towards him. MVP right now wants to draw him away, wants Huck to run around the map. That is, like, actually his greatest dream is that Huck chases him across the map for a few minutes. Terrence scans sees Huck's army is a little bit split up mm -hmm. here. Right now, MVP is just buying time. He has both starports. He has both of them, in fact, Theoretically, he with pick reactors. Up here and not lose anything. Well, look at this. I mean, Huck is actually just suiciding his army in a line into MVP. This is exactly what MVP wants. Everything's going perfectly for him at this point. I feel like I don't know what Huck is really up to right now. He is killing off a good portion of the army. But in the meantime, I mean, MVP uh. is making so many Vikings tasteless that he actually just completely won the mind game here. Yeah. He just won with his brain completely over Huck. Huck turned around when he had a solid timing against, like, two Vikings with four Colossus. He turned around, chased that army, and of course, yes, the army could have counterattacked. But, you know, you need to be so decisive with a build like this. And he, he missed any time to do any significant damage. Now MVP has insanely more supply, 187 to 146. In fact, he's maxing out at the moment. And uh, Huck has to now wait for his Psystorm to finish. I'm really scared that he's going to go engage. He needs yep. to sit back. He has High Templars, and he needs... He needs Psystorm to be ready, or he's going to get crushed in the battle. I feel so bad that Huck chased that army down there. You know, oh it was my a god, his choice, Colossus isn't protected. Uh -oh. This might actually be the end of Huck. Yeah, the Stalkers all are across work, the map. All for nothing. Completely across the map. Some Hongan defense there with four sentries against those. Hongan style, letting your Colossus die. Yeah. Um, realistically, those Vikings should just be killing the Colossus still. I'm surprised he separated the Stalkers from the Colossus. Now, the Ghost Academy is only half done. Psystorm is ready, and there's seven High Templars tasteless, so he has a lot of Psystorms, and uh-oh. Huck with a move command on the Stalkers. A little bit sloppy there, you know. Of course, he did just fly back in the country last night. Oh, my God. No Colossus thieves alive. And he's just going to land every the MVP at this point. Really feels like he's ahead. Some nice size storms, but he does dodge out. And this is just getting ugly, Artosis. I think the Viking land was not, not a necessary move here, but there's just too much Terran 
stuff on the map. As good as Hux force fields are, as good as everything that Hux's been doing this game, MVP is miles ahead and still playing with Hux's mind. Yeah, MVP has his four bases. Huck does have three, but Huck's upgrades are just 1-0 against the 2-1 of MVP, where MVP almost has three, plus three attack. MVP's getting his ghosts. He has his Vikings, or he had them at least. Uh, just everything is going MVP's way still. MVP controls literally the top of the map. He has everything there. Yeah. This, uh, a, a decision to make this expansion over here for Huck. He's probably going to regret now. And well. it's not only with the pros, but the Nexus die as well. Going after Pylons to make sure nothing can warp in. And now after the Nexus, looks like he will be able to get it in time. And after this, is going to be a Ninja Vanish. Peace. Indeed it is. <laughs> Peace, Holmes. Well, uh, this is getting out of control, Joseph. Yeah. I mean, he has like, played this game so perfectly. Even this decision here to control the center of the map with the turrets uh, and the Zelnaga Watchtower. If Huck was a sandwich, he would be a Sloppy Joe Tasteless. Ooh, that was good. Delicious and wholesome, yet very messy. Actually, I don't know if it's delicious or wholesome. I never ate one. It's probably really good. Yeah, you're vegetarian. You. Sloppy Joes are okay. Okay. They're okay. Yeah. Do you eat them with a spoon or do you actually try to pick them up? Uh, I eat them with a, with a, with a sandwich, so I eat the sandwich. Oh, uh, okay. Do you have to wear a bib? Uh, well, I always wear a bib when I, when I eat. <laughs> That's true. I mean, it's just how I do it, you know. Even when you eat Pringles? Oh, yeah. Wow. It's hardcore. Well, right now, MVP really tearing apart Huck's army. He does have a drop going towards the main, while Huck long distance finds that third. this might be the last few minutes of this game as we see Huck put up his Alamo. And look at this, Huck going in, force fielding in his zones, can't run by, it's a little mistake there. In the meantime, he does have a drop in the main base, starting to take out tech structures in there. We can just get a shot of the main of Huck, please. There it is. Yeah, taking out upgrades and everything, Huck cannot be happy with that. It's 136 fight at 200 right now, MVP even taking the gold, going on to his sixth base. MVP and is I looking godly tasteless. Right now, Chris is probably saying, Huck my life. Yeah. This is like pretty rough. HML, dude. And MVP looking completely unbeatable. MVP is actually a machine. GG. MVP is like, yeah, I'm not going to lose a game this season like MVP. Like Nesty, my teammate, did last season. We're on a race. How many championships without losses can we have? He wants it. He wants that third championship, and no one's going to stand in his way, Artosis. That's right. Well, we'll see about that, man, because, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Huck looking quite pensive. Very disappointed himself in those games. I think he's probably even thinking back to game one and two where he's like, oh, my God. I didn't even get to show my strats or anything because MVP just had my playbook. Well, he needs to chuck out that playbook. Huck it out? Chuck it out. He's a huck it out. Well, uh, I'm sad it's that... It's a sad day, man. Once again, it looks like you and I will be the only two Caucasians to make it to a JSL Finals. Well, we always make it. We're pretty good. Pretty sure we'll still be standing at the end, too, Tasteless. White people don't always make the best StarCraft 2 players, but they are amazing commentators. <sighs> Huck, though, getting very admirably far. I think Look, there's a very good chance MVP can win. I think if Jalizerk wins the next match, MVP wins GSL. If he doesn't, Ryung wins GSL. That's my prediction. Ryung is going to be tough for MVP to beat. He is a TVT sniper as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. He is, he is so TVT. good. So, um, wow. It's been exactly one hour of worker toast as we're halfway through the games today. God. I hope not. I hope this next one goes I know. five long games. Please, like five two-hour games. That's what I want. I want to cast. I miss casting Code as well as at MLG, and then I come here and I'm like, all right, two Terran all ins in a game where a Protoss has three bases. The Terran's five. <sighs> yeah, that was rough. Uh, you know, MVP really did outplay Huck there. Huck lost some extra units. 
He chased MVP across the map, but I mean, what are you going to do at that point? It's, you either you either go for the base trade scenario. This is something that happens when you go for a two base, a strong, strong, strong two base timing with your third so far away. Now, if Huck has his third base near his main base, I think that that game's much different. You know, he's so spread out. The Vikings come in, start owning stuff up because his his stalkers are trying to deal with the drop over at this third that's so far away. Uh, Dead right or toast. Sorry, we're gonna have a five minute break, so don't go too far away. This is the GSL Codex. With my bike, but he still got three legs. He's gonna be just fine. And David.